with a Latin dance, it's pretty hard to have a, a story. You're, you're, you're two dancers on a dance floor, you know what I mean? And same with the tango. It's like an intimate setting where you are. Is it social? Is it by yourself? It's intimate. So and it, short dance can really be anything any year. It's just this happens to be Broadway, and mm -hmm. stories come along with that. Yeah. And I think Piper and I have learned that we like working with stories, mm -hmm. so even even if we don't have a set storyline, we like to give ourselves characters in sort of a, a general setting at least, so we know what's the context in which we're in which we're dancing, and I think that allows us to perform better. Yeah. Um, our free dance music is "Both Sides Now" by Joan Mitchell. Um, yeah, we haven't really we haven't released it yet. Um, it's been kind of a a slow process for us because we've been, you know, tweaking the music to make it work for the rules, and I think it's a it's a very intimate process between all of us and our coaches because I think we we strongly believe that this is going to be a wonderful program for so many people in the same way that Vincent was so we wanted to keep it kind of under wraps for a long time and I think both of us are very excited to kind of show the world <coughs> this, this new piece of art that we've created um, yeah and just hope we we do it justice the truth is you never know when you choreograph a program if it's going to fall flat on its face, if it's going to resonate with people, if it's going to grow into something, because it's hard to tell at the beginning. Sometimes it grows into something really special, and sometimes it's good, but it doesn't have that same sort of spark. And you never know when, at the outset if it's going to be one of those programs. And so I think at a certain point, you, you just have to do it anyway. And we sort of knew, you know what, if it didn't have, if we decided to do something similar and it didn't, quite work, people would say, oh, they should have tried something different. If we tried to do something really different and it didn't work, people would say, oh, they should have done something like Vincent. Yeah, and so we didn't really want to constrain ourselves by last year's program at all. We just, we found a piece of music that we wanted to do, and we did it. Yeah, and, and, and that has its own appreciation. It, it'll sit there in, in time, basically, and it'll have its moment for a long time. And whereas this is, we're we're making another moment. We're making another creation, and I think that'll be, it'll be just as special as, to us as it was with Vincent. So, I think that's just the way that we have to look at it: is that we're creating another piece special for ourselves, and for the people, which is our theme: is programs for the people in the next four year, the last four year, or I guess this Olympic cycle. So this is part two, but that's just the way we do it. We gotta we gotta do it for ourselves and for the people around us. We wanted to do a Canadian artist for Worlds in Canada yeah. this year. So I think that was, I think the only the only constraint that we had for ourselves. Yeah. I mean, all of us love this movie called Love Actually, right? And Emma Thompson, she gets crushed because she finds out her husband is cheating or potentially cheating on her and she's bawling in her room by herself. And the moment, like, she's got to, like, put her face on and go see her kids. And it just, again, it was like this moment that everyone around that knows this movie is connected to that moment because everyone feels for her. And I think that's kind of the way in Vincent was it was just uh, people could latch onto it because it was connected to themselves in a different way or in some way, right? And that's the same way with this program is that it connects and it resonates with us. And I think that that's something that we have learned that works for us, that people can get behind something different. And it's a storytelling and it's in its own way, really. We don't really need to put a label on it. Like people, other people put the label on it which is why we do this, and it's really why, <laughs> like there's no really explanation why that piece, but. Yeah, and I think it's a, you know, I think the Carol and, and Piper and I have all been fans of Joni for a long time, and um, we felt it was a good piece to take that we could really build something off, and we're sort of, I think, the two things we're really the two things we're really feeding off in the choreography for this program. The first is there's so much mirroring in this program because yeah. there are the two sides to everything, and so we've added a lot of mirroring in the choreography. And I think the second thing that we really wanted to play with in this program is sort of the ambiguity of the song, where you know each sort of verse ends. I really don't know clouds at all. I really don't know love at all. I really don't know life at all. And on the one hand, that's that's sort of very devastating to mm -hmm. to admit that you you don't understand things mm -hmm. and things don't work the way you want them to. On the same time, it's very freeing to just sort of let go and and be and accept that you won't understand things, that you won't have control of things, that um, your life won't turn out exactly the way you want it to. Mm -hmm. And I think we're playing off of those two sentiments. Um, that exist in the song and in the lyrics.